everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we will do something new. I'm starting a new show, it's calling Ask Professional. Our guest today, special guest, is one of the most popular architect blogger Archmo or the Modmin. Um, and that's why I wanted him today to my channel to ask you some question. Uh, hello Hamada and before we will start, may you introduce yourself to my audience. Hello, uh, so my name is Hamada. I'm a director and a co-founder of The Modmin. Uh, that means I manage content creation on The Modmin's YouTube channel. And as well, I do work on The Modmin's future projects and some of the current projects that we're working on. We open a, a dialogue free your opinion about the architecture in nowadays. What do you think about that? Architecture nowadays, you know, like, we are in, in a certain position where we have a lot of new tools, a lot of things that, are, that have literally changed the industry, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so by having things like uh, such as BIM and uh, all these uh, new technologies and tools, it's not just that. I mean, architecture is still design, you know, you talk about, you know, problem solutions and creating, you know, structure solutions uh, actually made architecture very different than how it's ever been. So with, with that in mind, you know, like, as you can see, you know, with all this new architecture that is coming around, you know, with all these new buildings uh, that we see nowadays, the style has changed. And, uh, and I think computer or uh, digitalization of architecture has have a big influence on that. As we know, uh, you are your Instagram is specialized on the architect sketches, right? So what do yeah. you think? Uh, is it sketches still important nowadays or is something uh, something old thing? I think sketching is, is important. It's just that uh, the quality of sketching, I think that everyone sort of misunderstood is that you really have to come up with amazing drawings in order for that, like, I mean, it's called sketching, right? Sketching is just coming up with a rough drawing in order for you to communicate, right? So when I sit down with a client, I usually, you know, do sketching. Do I sketch for them my idea just to communicate and explain to them what they, what I'm actually planning on doing because that's how they would understand you. When you talk to someone that is not an architect, usually you need some sort of visual communication, right? Uh, whether you actually sketch for them something, whether you show them a picture of like an example or something like that, right? Sometimes it's a combination of both, you know, like I was like, oh, I'm, I'm actually thinking of doing this idea. And then I go ahead and grab a pen and just start sketching, but it doesn't have to be the greatest sketch. Uh, I'm not saying you should do a masterpiece, you know, when you sketch, the sketching just something really rough, but it's, it's very fresh. It's very fast. It's just to communicate your idea and make the client understand it better. Are you an architect or, uh, you're an engineer and where did you study? So I studied, uh, my foundation in architecture, part one in architecture and part two in architecture uh, here in uh, Cyberjaya in Malaysia. So I think, um, you know, of course, that means I'm an architect. Uh, I, I mean, over here in Malaysia, it's n I'm actually not a professional architect yet. I just barely got my part two recognition. Uh, however, I do practice occasionally. Uh, it's just that not my name actually ends up on the, on the project paper. So, but that's okay. I practice under very good architects. I studied uh, here in Cyberjaya at a university called Lim Kokwing University. A uh, great university actually, you know. This particular university, you know, I was really, really lucky to have certain lectures who were really, really good, you know. We had people from the industry, although I think uh, I would like to mention a few names like uh, Mr. Adrianta, Adrianta, AR Adrianta Aziz, is uh, actually now a consul on the Board of Architects in, in Malaysia here. All these people, they actually are in, into the industry. They're not just academics. They do academics, but however, they also practice architecture, which I think is very, very important because they do inspire you from real world situations, you know, it's like where they were practicing, they had this and that. And I think that's, that's really, really good. As I know, you have been starting your Instagram in school years. So how you get this Gosh. idea? Uh, when I started Insta uh, the Instagram that I have actually, I, I just started to design things, you know, back in 2012, 2013. And uh, I wanted to publish them and I did, I, I just published few things and it got exposure. Some people were sharing it. I found out like the few pages that actually shared it and things like that. I was like, that's interesting. You know, it's, it's quite nice. And I wanted it to be shared on other platforms. And 
for example, uh, I did approach Arc Daily and I gave them my projects and they said, I think I still have the reply on Facebook. They said, oh, it's quite nice, but we cannot publish it because it doesn't fall under our scope of publishing. Like they, they publish real projects. That's what they do, right? Uh, which is quite nice because now we got published on Arc Daily a few times. So uh, it was like there was a need for creating a certain platform that published, you know, work, whether it's like done by a student or done by someone that just art, right? So uh, I started few pages. I did a page where like it was just about rendering. Another page was about you know uh, about about photography, architecture, photography. I did one was about modeling, and I did one about sketching. I think that's the one that sort of got a lot of attention. And uh, the reason for that because it's it's always fresh. You know, you always sketching are is just like ideas that are in the first stage, right? Not all of ideas keep going all the way until becoming into production and things like that. And I think people do need that sort of stream of inspiration on their daily life and it's sort of stuck since then <laughs> okay so we are talking about technology and already mostly about bim as you know uh, i have channel about this software tell me which program architect should know nowadays maybe especially in your area i mean in malaysia uh, i would say you definitely need to learn um, a software that is bim capable at least, you know, that's what the industry is uh, requiring. I would say it's not yet required. I still have friends do s that still actually practice with AutoCAD, which I think it's amazing. You know, like how could you still, you know, it, you know, you, sometimes what you do in Revit in one day could take a team of 20 people one week to actually finish it, especially when it comes to changing things, which happens all the time, right? No software, but BIM. I would say that's definitely something that you need to learn. Uh, as I knew, you have some uh, big project. Can you tell us uh, what is that? Well, okay. Um, I do have a big project coming up uh, with the modmin. Uh, I would say, okay, I don't want to give up a lot of details. However, what I could say is we were, because we, we, we took some time out, as you can see from YouTube, we took a break, a really long break, and it was all just to work on that project. We basically wanted to find a way to enable us to maintain our channel. And at the same time, we wanted to establish uh, something that would uh, promote free education. We wanted something that, because I think not a lot of people are taking advantage of having, you know, having internet access and being able to, uh, to you know, to, to, to gain your education skills from internet. Uh, I think there are, of course, a lot of companies that do provide courses, which are amazing. However, it's just that I don't think someone has yet to understand that it's quite different. It's not like, you know, going to school, watching a video online is something that is very different than watching someone. I mean, if you would record me giving a four hour lecture, I, I doubt many people are gonna watch that entire video, right? However, when you make a video for YouTube, it's it's very, very different. It's very light, it's very informative, it's, it's very fast because someone is looking through that content and just wants to find a solution to something. So again, with all that in mind, we're creating some sort of a new solution that is going to help everyone uh, gain their education online. All right, that's all I could say about it. But it's coming really, really soon. Before we'll start the blitz time, I want to ask you the last question. Uh, any suggestions for our friends? Definitely do a lot of research. Don't rely on a certain outline. Like, oh, this is what I need to learn. There is no limit to what you learn. Always be on, you know, like on the lookout. What are the new technologies? What comes up, you know, in the news? Always watch the news. See how how you know people have been designing. Just don't don't be always open about architecture architecture you need to know a lot of, a lot of things and it's not just a lot of things about architecture no for example now i i technically i run a, a tech company at the moment it's not an architecture practice but at the same time it's because you need to learn about everything in order for you to be an architect a great architect so and now we will start the blitz time short question short answer just just few right. words you can oh and the first question is architecture or engineer oh Architecture, of course. <laughs> okay, the next one is Revit or Archicad. <laughs> okay, Revit, but I'll, let me say just why. Why Revit? Yeah, 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 okay. You can, you can Revit because of one thing, Autodesk. Look at the community that Autodesk has. I mean, if you take a look at the market, the market, you know, has been saturated with AutoCAD. AutoCAD, like the greatest, you know, mo the most popular architecture software. You know, since I was born, I've seen AutoCAD, right? So having another software from the same company and at the same time the community you know behind that software it's very very important before learning any new software 
that you have a community that will support you once you need something, you know, from that particular software. That's, that's why I would say Revit. Internship <laughs> or competition? Internship, because you need to learn from others. And it's not that, I mean, competition, you do work with others and all, but internship, you most likely will work with professionals and you get to learn from people are, that are in the industry. Uh, okay, okay. Jure or Lumion? It always depends on post-production at the end of the day, right? I mean, Lumion has been getting really, really good. You can get like really great results. And some of the clients don't really care about, you know, the thing being very photorealistic. I mean, it only, sometimes only when it comes to like interior design and things like that, you know, where these things are very important. However, showing the shape of the building and, you know, with post-production, everything could be, could be achieved, right? Uh, salary or experience? Ah. Uh, that's a tough one. Okay. Uh, because ex experience is very important. However, you should always get paid. Always make sure you get paid. It's your responsibility to get paid and it's your responsibility to not spoil the market. Don't do work for free. Always get paid for what you work for and gain experience, of oh. course. Okay. That's it. Thank you, Hamada, for these all questions, for your answers. Uh, this was really great and I think all uh, viewers will uh, so appreciate you for your answers. Uh, do you want to say something before we'll finish or? All right, man. No, thanks. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'd love to do more of this in the future with you and good luck with your channel. You've been doing a lot of great things. Thank you, man. And see you next time, I hope.